Okay, hello and welcome to another Comfy UI tutorial. Uh, someone raised the question in um, in the YouTube channel as to um, how you would do some extra stuff with the prompt module, and I may as well show you an addition to it that you can make. And I'm going to just relatively quick video. So the question was asked: How do I make sure that um, if I put in a word that it includes Contextual words, words that are similar to the word that you put in or words that relate to it. So if I was to um, have a car or something like that, that I would have uh, possibly the ability to generate a bunch of different kinds of car. And then if it didn't want to have a car but it had a truck, it wouldn't try and generate the car brands. It would generate, say, truck brands. So I'll show you roughly how you would do that. It's fairly simple. It basically hinges on the fact that you need to use replacement texts um, and codes. So uh, if we have, um, let's see if we've got this set up very well, not really. All right, we'll set up a new thing. So I'm going to use a different method. I was using triple letters, but recently I've started um, changing the way I do things. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So. I use exclamation points in front of an actual word so that it actually makes more sense uh, in your head and it's easier to type out the prompts rather than using code. Um, just makes it easier. So, Ding. so this is um, words that go into making a building in our image. So let's grab a text multi line. And because this would be within your prompt module, I'm not going to rebuild the whole module. I'm just going to build this kind of separate. And then, um, you know, you would, you would put this segment that I'm building here into the uh, prompt module itself, basically, is how it would work. So, house, temple, warehouse, wasteland, no, swamp, no. And uh, office, building, and what else? Right, we've already got house. Okay, good. So, say your prompt came in and it was an oil painting of. You would have uh, building, so exclamation mark building. That brings in the building itself. And uh, we plug in to the replacement text. So it needs to run through replacement text because these are like little filters along the way which tell it what it can generate. Now normally you would send this into your um, clip text encode. Uh, hang on, let me just grab that here. So you'd send this into your clip text encode uh, and it would generate a building and that's fine. It'll be a random building every time. Uh, but we need more than that. Uh, we need to modify what is being sent when you use building. So we use another replacement text, and this time we're just filtering the output of this particular list here. So uh, depending on what uh, this is sending to here, it will then replace words within that with um, different words. So. And you can do this multiple times. So if we put house H in our house interior. So house interior is, is our next code. And uh, we'll add that to here. So house interior. If you're using this, you just got to make sure you spell it correctly in the uh, in the prompt as well. So, it's going to replace this with whatever we have in this list here. So, I'm going to put ouch. Uh, how about what else? Mm. So you could do this, you could replace this with rooms within a house as well. So if it was a house, it would be a kitchen or something like that as well. Uh, it's really up to you. You can, you can build out whole rooms just using a whole bunch, a little prompt for each room if you wanted to. 
Uh, this is just a seed kind of like an example of how you build it rather than necessarily telling you the way that you should do it. So these mechanics can be used to build much more complicated systems. So now what it's going to do is it's going to replace building with a random building. And if it replaces house, like it with house, it's going to also add this code, which then triggers this replacement text, which adds a random interior object to it. Um, now, if you use house interior on, on a temple, it's going to obviously start making these kind of things. But if you had, um, you wanted temple stuff, so you would add another code and it would be like temple interior. And you just add another replacement text to the output. So we're essentially filtering it each time we run through a replacement. So we'll run another list. And this one would have stuff like uh, email priests, for example. And you would run it through here. But I'm um, just realizing I need to add a different node to these. And uh, where is it? Yeah. Make sure you do text random lines if you are using lists. Uh, I forget this all the time. And it books up my prompt. So now it should. Let's just. Uh, I'll remove the, the, the optional ones. <laughs> just for this example. So we're just using one or the other. And we'll run show text so that we can actually see the output of all of this kind of little network here. So if we run it, no painting of temple, temple interior. So that hasn't quite worked. What have I failed? Ah, uh, yeah. Temple interior was not done. Temple interior. Okay, simple interior and run it again and cancel the first thing. Okay, an oil painting of house couch. So obviously you'd you'd want um you'd want to actually set this up a little bit better with like things like a house and then things like um you know uh you'd probably put oh well, how about, yeah, you'd probably put it in here. You'd probably put it um, with Yeah, you'd probably just put with and I would do the trick. So something like this and then um, A here. Just adding these little words here and it should build a more sensible uh, prompt over here an oil painting of a house with chairs so um it could take these to mean anything because it's just you know a house so it could be outside a house and there's chairs or inside a house and there's chairs uh, really you've got to do the kind of tweaking and um have an inside or outside thing to this as well so oh we'll add we'll add one why not um we'll add another code and it will be inside out yeah inside out and uh, we need to add a replacement text that actually filters this and let's give it a list and a random line as well Uh, inside of outside of so uh, essentially uh, just build a little thing which is going to coin flip and say this is either outside side or this is inside of a structure or whatever and if we attach it to the random line now it's flipping a coin every time and choosing whether it's inside or outside we add it to the replace text and we make sure we grab the appropriate code from it. So it'll be inside out. So now 
we link this through to the uh, prompt. I just, there we go. See, a house with chairs. It's generating the thing. So this is, it's probably, it's kind of like, almost like a different version of, of this other one. Uh, this other one is more like an older version of the prompt module, I guess, because I've, I've been uh, refining this as I go. But uh, this is like a, a more advanced kind of component to it where you can have dynamic parts within your prompt because uh, you can just in these sub lists as long as you put codes in them as well it will grab those codes as long as you have replace text in line to catch those codes before they get to the other end of the prompt uh, they could be in any real order but um, I kind of prefer this method I guess so we'll run it again an oil painting of the outside of I need to put a house I guess somewhere yeah put a and a with a dining table is what it's doing so yep so it's doing a dining table on the here type deal uh, we run it again and this time of a house with a dining table it's going to do the same thing roughly so yeah um that's how you dynamically grab sublists so you can push this as far as you want you could have it so that um you know it, it's grabbing it's got little codes for each thing and it's grabbing things from here and there and you can have it con like a fully contextual setup um if you're going that far with it <laughs> in all honesty um you might be looking at just building your own node um because of the 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 size of this is going to get massive um at least with a node you could do it all in code and you don't have all these wiring to do but um if coding's beyond you this is how you would do a more complex kind of thing which can just build prompts based off of the little codes you have at each step so yeah um so that's how you would build a more dynamic prompt rather than just one which just picks from a list and sends it along and uh, this one is picking from lists and then also grabbing code from lists using replacement so anyway hopefully that answers um whoever's question that was um yeah anyway uh happy new year by the way and uh there will be more videos coming out um, in time so thank you for watching and uh, have great holidays if you're still on holidays <laughs>